Are you thinking about buying a boat? Maybe it's your first one, or maybe you've had many. You're not alone in having questions about it. We are going to answer the top seven questions that almost everybody asks when buying a boat. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating and on today's video we are going to answer questions that almost everybody asks. Although the boat purchasing process is different everywhere you go, we often see the same questions come up over and over again from new customers to us. They would apply to almost any boat dealership you work with and in this video we're going to look at these questions and their answers. Those questions are, what does the purchase process look like from start to finish? Do I need to put a deposit down to try a boat and why? What is a lake test and do I need one? What is a compression test and do I need one? What are engine hours and what do they mean? What is the ownership or licensing process that happens? and what is the warranty like for boats. Before we begin, let me let you know that this video is a little long and each of the questions is going to be outlined in the description below so you can click into each section and answer each question so you don't have to watch the whole video. The sales process. What can I expect from beginning to end in the process of buying a boat? When we sell a boat at Lensco Marina, there is a fairly defined process that has some timing flexibility. The process is as follows. First, there are questions from you and questions from us about your boating, your wants, and eventual specific boating details and pricing. This stage can take a few hours or a few years. We see a vast range. We like to really understand how you can best help you achieve your boating time and your goals. The next stage in the process is viewing the boat. This is the most fun. So we recommend that if at all possible, you come to the marina and view the boat you're most interested in and possibly even multiple boats to help us narrow down what your wants are and what's best for you and your boating needs. There are times when you can't do that and we postpone the viewing the boat to the lake test and delivery process. After the viewing, we move to the refundable deposit. I'm gonna explain more on this later. Next, we have the lake test, and this is the most fun. This is when we get you out in the water with a delivery captain, and he shows you all about the boat and makes sure you're 100% happy. Hopefully, you've got a nice sunny day. Next, we go to paperwork and payment. This is the boring part. No one really likes it. Who wants to sign a bunch of times and pay for it? But at the end of the day, that's what we do after the lake test. All the documentation, explain the warranties. Lastly, we're going to deliver the boat to you or you're going to take it home from the marina. This is when you get to share your boat with your friends and family and hopefully everything goes perfectly and you're out on the water all summer long. Why do I need to put a refundable deposit down on the boat? Getting a boat water ready can take the service and cleaning team between 3 and 10 hours of work. Because of that, we do need a commitment from you before we can commit that much time. We need to determine that this is the right boat for you and that you have all the pricing and conditions agreed upon. Once you put the small, often only $500 deposit down, it is 100% refundable after the lake test if you are not happy in any way with your boat because it fails or if it fails to perform the way you are promised it will. We refund about seven to 10 deposits for various reasons every year. The lake test. Do you need it and what is it? What is a lake test? Think of it like a home inspection. You probably wouldn't buy a home without first having a good look through it after everything is moved out. The lake test is very similar. We think of it as a condition of sale to make sure you are 100% happy with the boat. It works like this. We send you out on the water here at the marina with a dedicated delivery captain. It can take up to 20 minutes or up to two and a half hours. The choice is completely yours. Is it worth it? 
Absolutely, we insist on it 99% of the time. And the knowledge you get about your boat and the confidence you get from knowing that everything is right is essential. If there are issues, we also get to address them right away. And this is great for you because they don't happen once the boat gets delivered to you at your boating location. After the lake test, if there are any issues with the boat, our service team is here to address them right away. And that's key so that when you get your boat delivered, it's 100% right. What is a compression test and do I need one? One of the most common questions we get is, should I have a compression test? Or what are the compression readings of the engine? A compression test is a diagnostic tool. Basically, an engine needs three things to run. Compression, ignition, and fuel. If the engine runs properly on sea test, gets up to wide open throttle, idles and shifts fine, and otherwise runs perfectly well, it has to, by law and nature, have good compression. So we're not encouraging or discouraging compression tests. We're just pointing it out that the lake test is actually a much better test of how the boat will work. There is a link in the description below with more information on compression tests. Engine hours. Should I know what they are? The answer is probably yes. Always ask for engine hours if they are available. And there are some boats that don't record them. Much like your car, you would ask for the mileage or odometer reading. Your engine hours, roughly when 100 hours of boat time is logged, it's the equivalent of about 4,000 kilometers in a car. So 500 hours would be equivalent of 20,000 kilometers. So it's good information for you to know. There are times when you can't have them because the engine doesn't log them, and that's okay too, particularly in older boats. And you wanna make sure that you understand where the boat was used, how it was used, and all those other factors when looking at engine hours. Engine hours are important because it will give you a guidance of what future maintenance you may need, and also help you determine how well that boat is gonna hold its value over time. One question we get all the time is, is there ownership for the boat? And in the province of Ontario, there is no boat ownership. Your ownership is actually proved by the bill of sale that you get from a marine dealership or from a private individual if you buy it privately. The other thing you get is what's called a vessel license or a PCL pleasure craft license. What happens here at Lensco Marina is that we transfer the vessel license into our name, either from the manufacturer when new or from a private individual if taking it on trade. At the time of lake test, we show you that you have a license in Lens Cove's name, and then we transfer that out of Lens Cove's name and into yours. This process can take somewhere in the neighborhood of 90 days. Warranty. Hopefully you never need it. On a new boat, there are three warranties possible to register. The boat warranty, the end of warranty, and often a trailer warranty. And all three are separate. Here at Lens Cove, we will register all three after your lake test. If you're buying a used boat from us and it's less than 20 years old, we also offer a 50-50 warranty, where after everything is proven to be working right at lake test, within the first 90 days of boat ownership, if you have an issue and you have a breakdown, we will cover 50% of the cost to repair it. This gives you peace of mind because after you take delivery of the boat, if there is an issue, we will cover 50% of the cost and it also holds us to a high standard to make sure everything is right before it leaves the marina. There are a lot of questions you might have when you're buying a boat. These are seven of the most common ones and I hope they have shed some light on some of the answers you've been looking for. Feel free to ask any you want and look for more resources below. Hopefully your dealer will ask you lots of questions about you and your boating as well. Thank you for joining Lens Cove Lessons in Boating today. There will be lots of links and resources below and please remember to subscribe. We'll see you out on the water.